On behalf of the province of Nova Scotia, I am sorry. And so began Nova Scotia's formal apology to Viola Irene Davis Desmond, who was convicted for sitting in a whites-only section of a movie theater in New Glasgow. Desmond died in 1965, but her youngest sister, Wanda Robson, was on hand today. I'm numb. Now, I'm 83, so don't run for paramedics. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not numb that I'm going to be sick. I'm numb with joy. Back in 1946, Desmond was a pioneer black businesswoman. She had stopped at the New Glasgow Theatre that used to stand here, but she was forced out and later convicted of tax evasion for not paying a premium to sit closer to the screen. She was fined $20 and sentenced to 30 days in jail. At the time, those who charged her made no mention of race. Nova Scotia's lieutenant governor says the province knows better now. It is only on rare occasions with the clarity of hindsight that a society comes together to undo the wrongs of the past. The posthumous free pardon is the first of its kind in Canada. It recognizes that Desmond was innocent and her conviction should have never happened. And they Delvina Bernard was at today's announcement. She brought her daughters with her. And so here this historic day showing how Nova Scotia can have a good face and right the wrong, I wanted them to witness this firsthand. Desmond's court case was central to scrapping segregation laws in Nova Scotia. The province is now planning a Viola Desmond Day to ensure her story isn't forgotten. Mari Toes, CBC News, Halifax.